Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Introduction to Cost and Management Accounting. That's chapter number one. This should be actually done towards the end as by that time you automatically know the answer for each and everything. So let's do it. MCQs we are trying to focus on. So therefore for you clearing and getting ranks is not a problem under the new course MCQs are given great importance but in the modules there is no logic of the final answer that is what I am trying to discuss and convey to you all. I uh, request you all to share all these videos with your friends so therefore like you know getting full marks in MCQs and any twisted version of the MCQs is not an issue for you. On my YouTube channel, you will be finding the entire playlist of each and every chapter. Once we finish off the MCQs of the module, then we will do our own made up MCQs. So let's do them now. Process costing method is suitable for, please bring me the four options. Transport sector, okay, B, chemical sector, C is dam construction and D is furniture making. This is easy stuff. You can try to cancel out all the wrong ones. You will automatically arrive at the correct ones. Think, comment in the answers, please, below. Comment in the section below, please. Okay, so transport sector you all have done methods of costing in methods of costing for transport sector we have something called as operating costing applicable to companies which are there in service sector dam construction for that a method of costing is contract costing that is applicable to those companies uh, who undertake huge contracts like making a dam bridge flyover blah 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 Further, furniture making. Now, every furniture that will be made will usually be different. For them, you are going to be having something called as job costing. Job costing is basically applied where every unit that you all make is different for each and every customer. There are no, there are no standardized products that we all make. Okay. Process costing is applicable where a company is there in manufacturing. Okay, whereby there are series of processes before the product becomes a finished product. Okay, for chemical industries, it might happen like this that you try to make something by mixing two chemicals, then it goes over to the next process, something else is mixed up and so on. Okay, so once A, C and D are ruled out, automatically B as it is there in form of the manufacturing part, it automatically comes under this section. So as per me, answer should be B over here. That's the correct one. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.